Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Continuing the birthday apparent Moxa Stout share. <laughs> Courtesy of my man Jared. Uh, this is Bisco Party, which reminds me of Biscoff, which reminds me of Arcade Outsiders. <laughs> Remember, there's Dude. Biscoff balls in the IRC. <laughs> yes, there was. And, and <laughs> after listening to those, I hopped on what was it, Amazon and bought some of that. Dude, Biscoff is legit. <laughs> it's one of the, one of the best sagas of all time. <laughs> Biscoff cookies. They used to serve those on airplanes. I think they still do on uh, American Airlines. Do I think they? Yeah. It, maybe it was Delta. Biscoff is fucking yeah. awesome. Uh, pretty label. Another sessionable. Eleven point eight percent alcohol by volume. Imperial Stout with Ugandan vanilla beans, almonds, and cacao nibs. So Mox is on us kind of a roll with. They're doing peanuts. They're doing almonds. They're just covering the nut. Uh, and I have not had this one. Well, I mean, so Bisco Party, you are a Moxa member, didn't you say two years ago? So no, they first brewed this or something. This was the first beer they had available. So when they did the whole opening for members, um, when we paid for our membership, this was like the first beer we were able to have. But they didn't bottle it. No, you were just you could have pours of it. Correct. Gotcha. Moxa, Rockland, California, Northern California, Sacktown, stand up. Is that, right? is that how you say it? Sure. Jared, Jared, uses, Jared's using Moxa glassware because beer tastes better than proper glassware. So his beer is going to taste better than mine. This beer Absolutely. is this beer is darker than the last one. Yes, it is. It's and still not like crazy sludgy, like thick, but it's darker than. What was it? What was that? Extravagant? <laughs> Extravagance. <laughs> but what did we just drink? Yeah, we've been drinking since Friday. <laughs> it's fuck. That's what happens. Bisco party is like disco party. I'm not a big Eric Bischoff. I'm not a big disco guy, but uh, it's darker than the last beer. It wasn't crazy dark when we poured it, but it's pitch black on the glass. Same thing. Finger of mocha khaki head. It looks the exact same as the last one. That's what you call uh, consistency, which is not a bad thing. Is that right? Consistency. I'll take it. Do you know the difference between Ugandan vanilla beans and American vanilla beans are? Not me neither. <laughs> I have no idea. I was like, and this is going to be an enlightening moment here. <laughs> <laughs> did They're you, fancy. Did, did you know that Kamala, the, the former WWF star, was from the Ugandan, he was the Ugandan giant? Oh, yeah. Ugandan vanilla. But was he really? Uh, probably not. He was probably from like Detroit or something. <laughs> he just passed away a couple years ago. R.I.P. R.I.P. Kamala. Show her fan of it. <laughs> we golf today. It's not good. A lot more subtle this time this is definitely not as like forward as the last beer yeah. but that last beer was like just peanut fucking it was like putting your nose in a skippy peanut butter jar yeah. this definitely has like that vanilla sweetness but to me it's it's just it's I think this is like a chocolatey stout yeah i mean i there's no, do you smell almonds i don't smell almonds like specifically but there's something nuttiness there's some nuttiness to it it smells uh like confectionery kind of sugary right i can see that it's, it's it's not like crazy sweet, but it's sweet. Yeah. Do you smell the Ugandan vanilla beans? <laughs> I can totally tell the difference between that and the American vanilla beans. I mean, cacao, <laughs> I mean, you smell chocolate, right? But this, oh, I get that. Yeah, for sure. Again, this is not like a roasty coffee stout. It's, not at all. This is no. like a chocolatey stout, which I like. I fucking love chocolate stouts so hard. But yeah, you're right. Like after the last nose, this one is, I don't want to say it's muted, but it's much. Mellow. Yeah, mellow. Much more mellow? Much less. It's m much mellower. <laughs> mellower? Sure. <laughs> mellow. Mellow. Did you just taste it? You didn't even say I dove in. I'm what sorry. What's wrong with you? I dove in. I broke protocol. Let's see what happens. Sorry, Let's guys. See what happens. Tom's going to go hey, golfing. Cheers. Hey. How's it? How is I'm, it? I'm looking forward to this. Go ahead, Tom. <laughs> Use your words. It's set up. I don't know how to describe that. So, I like it, but uh, if any of you have had Horace beers, Horace uses hazelnuts in their beers. I don't think you've ever had a Horace stout. And it's so I've talked about uh, this with my buddy Mark before. When you use um, nuts in a stout, like there's, I don't like you said you don't know how to describe that. Yeah. There's like a there's something about using whether it's hazelnuts, almonds. There's something that like gives off a 
what is that flavor? I know you said you can't describe it, but I know I know exactly. <laughs> I'm no help here, sir. No, it's, I know what you're talking about. It's not an off flavor, but it's like a. It's not bitter, but it has like a. It's like a crispness to it. If you so, gosh, what is the best way to describe it? this? Is fucking hard. In a good way, it's good. I like it. I'm saying, but there's if you've had so if you've had, gosh, what is the best way to talk about this? I don't know. If you've had almonds before, <clears throat> like saying the word film is wrong, but they have like a there's like a skin around almonds that has yes. like a certain flavor, and that's what you're tasting in this beer. Okay, yeah, I can see that. I mean, yeah. like it's I don't know what that is. I'm not a fucking Cicerone, Jared. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Neither am I. Like, almonds have, like, a, a like a weird, like, thin yeah. skin around them. And you can actually eat an almond and have, like, it stuck in your teeth. Like, yep. and you, when you eat it, when, it, when you get it out and, like, you taste it, it has, like, a, like, a, it's not bitterness. I don't know what it is, but this is in that beer. It's not bitterness, but it's like bitterness. <laughs> right. It's kind of like that. But this is definitely, like, it's a chocolate stout for me Chocolate pork pork sure, there. Yeah. i don't again like with this there was vanilla in the last one i don't taste a whole lot of vanilla in this and this one's not crazy sweet it's not diabetes sweet it's not pastry to me no i mean this is less sweet than the last one for sure and this one also feels like um it's a little bit thinner than the last yeah. stout. this is also have. super i mean we just got i just got it last week yeah you just picked so. this up um i guess if you've ever had biscotti it has that it has almonds in it. have you ever had biscotti yeah or however Italians say it. My grandpa used to say, I don't even want to try and be Giada de Laurentiis right now. <laughs> but it has like that, it's all, it's got like that nutty kind of cool um, desserty thing. This isn't crazy desserty to me. Um, but I mean, this is a really this, good beer. The problem with this beer is we drank Extravagance before this. And I think Extravagance was, was overpowering. much. Well, I, just, I think it was a better beer than this one. Yeah. Just with the flavors of it. Yeah. But I love peanut butter. There's something to this, like, almost like a crispness to it that's, I don't know how to describe. Like I said, I don't know how to describe it, but no, yeah. it's there's. Something. I I think it's the almonds that you're tasting that's like giving it that flavor. It's it's weird. Like unless you guys drink a, a stout with almonds in it, like it's really hard to describe what that is. Yeah. Like could you Still imagine? Solid. Remember when like uh, uh, Hell's Kitchen was on and he would put blindfolds and headphones on people and give them stuff and they would try and guess. <laughs> Those are my favorite they, episodes ever. They would try and Hot guess. Dogs slamming. I'm saying they would try. And, say. <laughs> they would try and guess what they were eating and they fucking were so bad at yeah. it. Yeah. Like if you had no, like if you had sensory overload trying to figure out what you were tasting, there's no way you could, you no one would know what that is. No. The last one, people absolutely know. Oh yeah, of course. Peanut butter. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, this is not a bad beer. Not I at just, all. I think the problem is, is we drank the one before this. Yeah. You know, if we would have had this first and then had the other one, we probably would have said this one. Would, I, I don't want to say it's, it's not bad. It's great. But it's just that last one was fucking yeah. awesome. It, it's like yeah, as Joe said, it's 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 not bad at all. It's it's really good, but it's the, it's just super hard to describe. Yeah, yeah the, there, I think just... and I think it's the almond thing that it is. I love the chocolate in it though. But I mean, I, but then I start thinking about like almond champagnes and like you can t those are more sweeter than regular champagnes. So it's like but, 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 almond champagne before. They're delicious. <laughs> but this is um. But I don't get the sweetness from the almonds because normally it's almonds tend to be sweeter yeah. when you have that flavor. I, this is not sweet at all. Um, but it's, So it's like taking that flavor from the almonds minus the sweetness, I no. guess you could say. I do like the, I mean, both of them. They've been really chocolatey. I love chocolate styles. Mm -hmm. Love that. Um, I don't get a whole lot of vanilla in this. There's a there's a sweetness to it. But it's not... Because it's from Uganda. That's what it is. <laughs> it's, it's not crazy pastry, which is fine. I mean, there's a time and a place for diabetes, and that's not this. But this is just as... <laughs> A time, time and a place. <laughs> That's not true. Not really. I don't. I don't. I don't mean that. But I'm we'll cut saying, that out. There's a <laughs> there's a time and a place for like when you just want to be like I'm gonna fucking have a sweet stout right now. That's not this. But yeah. it, again, it's not a bad beer. I, I, I think it's really really good. Yeah. So I think we can leave it at that, right? Yes, sir. How dare you? That's Bisco party from Moxa. Have you guys had it? It's a birthday Leave party, a bro. <laughs> it's not a Bisco party. It's a birthday party. Leave a comment below. <laughs> Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you very soon. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.